First, start with a square for the face. Then, do a trapezoid for the jaw. Add a half circle for the top of the head. The ears will go in between your eyes and your nose. You can even touch the top and bottom of the ears if you don't believe me. For the hair, try to draw it as a basic shape, not individual blades of grass. Try to think of it as a helmet or something. It is a volume, a mass. Now, I'm turning it into a black and white photo and using the Photoshop cutout filter to simplify the photograph. This is a great hack. I'm turning it into basic graphic shapes like a stencil. It's kind of cheating, but it's a great way to get the likeness of the character. This is the method I teach in my art classes to kids. They love it. As you can see, I'm identifying the graphic shapes and drawing them one by one. It's like drawing islands or states. States like, you know, California, Texas, Ohio. You get the point. So it's just shapes. No shading yet. When you finally get all the shapes down, then you can start shading it in. This is where the magic happens. It's one of my favorite parts. Here, you can see if you are accurate in the shape drawing stage. If something is off, you may want to spend some time fixing some proportions, making sure everything's symmetrical and even. Afterwards, we can start putting in the mid-tones. It's that lighter value. We just did the dark shadow shapes, which is the most important part, but now we do the lighter values, keeping things kind of separate. At this point, it's looking pretty good. I removed the Photoshop filter, and now I'm just looking at the regular black and white photograph to add a bit more detail. I'm blurring some edges and smoothing things out. Generally, you have a softer edge where you have a form shadow, but a harder edge when it's a cast shadow. After I did that for a bit, I'm now looking at the color photo. The color photo gives me a bit more information than the black and white photo did. You will notice, in this process, I'm just going one step at a time. I'm being patient, not jumping ahead. This is so you can get all the important things first and do the smaller details towards the end. I wouldn't say this looks exactly like Simu Lu, but I think it's pretty good. I think done is better than perfect. I'm a huge fan of Simu. I've watched all five seasons of Kim's Convenience and I'm very excited for his new movie Shang-Chi, the first Marvel Asian superhero. Some people might say, Oh, it's stereotypical. The Asian guy's always doing kung fu. And yeah, I totally agree. Um, but to that I say, hey, done is better than perfect. I think it's a big step in the right direction. The movie looks cool and you just gotta take it one step at a time. So congratulations, Simu. I'm a huge fan. If you're watching this, thank you for all of work you've done for the Asian community. I look forward to seeing this in theaters. If you've enjoyed this movie, I do teach a portrait drawing class every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. These are live interactive classes for kids. If you are new to this channel, my name is Chris Chen. Hi, I'm a professional theme park concept artist. Check out my channel if you're interested in learning more about art and theme parks. Thanks.